Hello, good evening to you. Team GB have won their first medal at the Paris Olympics on the first full day of the Games. Yasmin Harper and Scarlett Mew Jensen took home a dramatic bronze in the women's synchronised three-metre springboard. The pair were in tears following what's uh, Britain's first female diving medal at an Olympics for 64 years. A total of 14 medals are up for grabs today. The BBC's sports correspondent Katie Gornell has more for us. In cycling and Anna Han Henderson won silver for Great Britain in the women's time trial earlier as she edged out the USA's Chloe Digert by less than one second. In the men's race, 20-year-old Josh Charling suffered a puncture, which meant he finished just two seconds outside the medal positions. Natalie Perks was watching the action and has this report. Tonight, Britain's Yasmin Harper and Scar. Scottish Conservative MSP Russell Finlay says he's been warned by Police Scotland of a threat to his life. Mr Finlay, who's running for the party leadership, says he was told that a known criminal was behind the intimidation. He added the threat is believed to be linked to the case of William Burns, a hitman who attacked Mr Finlay with acid at his home in 2015. 30 Palestinians have been killed and 200 have been left injured after Israel's military struck a school in central Gaza. That's according to the Hamas-run health ministry. The school was based here near the city of Jir al-Bala. The Israel Defence Forces also attacked parts of Khan Yunis to the south. They're ordering civilians to evacuate from there to an adjusted humanitarian area in Al Mawasi along the coast amidst an ongoing operation against Hamas fighters who have apparently regrouped there. Mark Lowen has more. Within the past hour, Israeli state media are reporting that at least nine people are dead and dozens more injured in a rocket strike on a children's football pitch. The Israel Defence Forces said a rocket fell on the Majal Shams area of the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. Millions of people visit the beautiful parks in the Canadian Rockies every year. But wildfires are currently raging across the region. Entire streets in the historic town of Jasper were evacuated on Monday and the fires have turned homes to rubble. Officials say the full extent of the damage is not yet known. No deaths or injuries have been reported. Our correspondent Will Vernon has more. More sport now and in Scotland, uh, Scotland's rugby team are uh, currently preparing for the 17th and final test of the season against Uruguay Tour. Let's get the weather now. Gillian has the latest. Thanks, Gillian. Just before I leave you, a Scottish couple hoping to become the first mixed pair to circumnavigate the UK mainland in a rowing boat, unsupported, have just passed the halfway mark. In the and that is all we have for you. Thank you for your company. Good night.